Welcome to Upsides. It's week one in the NFL. Oh, thank God the long off season is over. There are two things that we will not talk about in this picks and preview show for week one in the NFL. Number one is the Super Bowl. That did not end the way that I wanted it to. And number two, a certain team that, um, shall we say, begins with a P, had certain things that ended in gate around them. We're not talking about them. I've heard enough about those people. Yeah, f the Panthers. Yeah. I'm joined as always by Alex, who is our fact checker, and Joe Gruener and 49ers fan. 49ers gonna go what? 19 and 0. Yeah, okay. And Will, their sound guy, slash heroin Clay Matthews. Looking good, bud. Let's talk about the first game I'm excited about, Packers at Bears. Oh, hey, Mike McCarthy. Looks like somebody fired himself from play calling duties and grew a beard, but still the guy who had some of the worst play calling ever in the NFC Championship game. Is that what just like a really rich, successful person's midlife crisis looks like? He fired himself, grew a beard, but like he's still just doing really well. But he's, he's like, I need to change it up. Traded in his BMW for a Porsche. Bears, uh, even if the defense turns around immediately, uh, there's some questions on the offense. Gone are Brandon Marshall, Kevin White, the rookie first round pick, will not be playing, certainly not in week one, maybe all of this season. Good choice by him, I think, though. Yeah. Uh, Alshon Jeffrey's questionable. What's he his He can't shake that calf. We'll see. But... <laughs> he cannot get rid of those calves. He's been trying, which means that Jay Cutler will be throwing to Eddie Royal. Eddie Royal and a bunch of nobody. And Matt Forte out of the backfield. Here's the thing about the Packers. Like, yes, Jordy Nelson and Aaron Rodgers have a fantastic chemistry. They're not going to be able to replace him but the Packers also kind of just plan for these sorts of things they got Ty Montgomery in the third round it's gonna he's gonna turn out to be amazing uh, Packers are so annoying the line on this game is uh, the Packers by seven I like him by mm, ten this game what do you say first tie of the year first tie <laughs> of the year an early game on Sunday I'm looking forward to is Colts at Bills high-powered offense versus celebrated defense Andrew Luck on one side of the ball Rex Ryan on the sideline running his mouth he's already running his mouth and I love it but this Bills team is gonna struggle to go eight and eight uh, this year and then they're gonna go six and ten and then Rex is gonna fired someday Rex I want you to have a real quarterback so you can just run defenses and destroy teams let's talk about Andrew Luck uh, he's got some, he's got those direct TV ads where it's Andrew Luck and then out of control beard Andrew Luck listen Andrew Luck out of control beard Andrew Luck is Andrew Luck. You can't just give your beard like one trim in the off season, clean up for one commercial shoot and act like that's not you. Is it just me or does he look like Nikola Mirotic? The the Bulls forward? Get the f out of here. Sorry, sorry. What, what, what football team is the Bulls? Anyway, we're talking about football, right? I guess so. I don't know. I kind of want, you want to just talk about like taxes now or something? Yeah. I feel like the energy sucked out of the room. I've come to the conclusion that I, I hate the Colts. I actually like Andrew Luck a whole lot, but I hate this thing that like Ryan Grigson is perceived as some great GM. All he's done is draft Andrew Luck number one overall. Like a toddler could have done that. Since then he traded uh, a first round pick to get Trent Richardson. Uh, desperately needed help on the interior defensive line and instead spent a first round pick on Philip Dorsett. Uh, oh yeah, because we needed a, a fifth wide receiver who's really good. Well, that was f***ing stupid, Grigson. Well, he did make the AFC Championship game last year. Anyone can make the AFC Championship <laughs> yeah, game. The yeah. Niners could. <laughs> the ni <laughs> Colts are on the road here, favored by two and a half. I'm going to go Bills. I'm going to pick the Bills for this game. Maybe not outright. But yes, I, I think they're going to win this game. What? Now I'm questioning my own decisions. How are they going to win? Tyrod's no Kyle Orton. Late afternoon game Sunday that you should be interested in. Uh, Ravens at Broncos. AFC Powers. I'm trying to get excited about this. Come on. 39-year-old Peyton Manning leads the Broncos against 36-year-old Steve Smith. I, sh I should have done a better job selling that, huh? <laughs> Terrell Suggs versus the rookie they just drafted, Tyson Brylo. I pay attention to the NFL like 365 a year, and I've never heard that name. I think that's the the kid from Indian in the Cupboard. A matchup worth watching here, uh, Steve Smith versus his old nemesis, Aqib Tlaib. They were uh, NFC South rivals, and then the Ice Up Sun game. Steve Smith is going to be really good for about the first four games of the year, and the body is not going to follow. The body will send the signals to his brain that it's been on this planet for 36 years. Yeah, the Ravens uh, got the new offensive coordinator, Mark Tressman. I think he's going to do good things for Joe Flacco. He's going to do good things for Justin Forsett. Oh, he's going to need some wide receivers. I saw a photo of Brashad Perryman for the first time. He looks like a 35-year-old who like infiltrated a college football team for a story. 
and then turned out to be a really good wide receiver. This this game just seemed boring as shit. Could Peyton Manning run a sub seven second 40 right now? Yes, Peyton Manning could be, be close though. Peyton Manning could beat you in a football No, he size. could not. You know, it's it, you're gonna see the box score and be like, oh wow, I bet that was an awesome game. Something about the Ravens just inherently bores the fuck out of me. I don't like purple teams. I don't like Joe Flacco's dumb face. Sure. Ravens are four and a half point dogs. Yeah, I'll take the Broncos. Yeah, not enough weapons. Broncos will cover. Sunday night football, Giants at Cowboys. This game feels really familiar for kick off the season. Was this Sunday night football last year? This is the opener half of the year. This is three out of last four. I feel like this game is always on national television and I never really care. Don't get me wrong, Des Bryant, ton of fun to watch. Odell Beckham Jr., always fun to watch. You get Eli Manning's face like several times a game. That's always worth a laugh. When it comes down to it, do I want to hang out with the Bunch of Giants and Cowboys fans? No. Cowboys, of course, coming off a 12 and 4 season and heartbreak at the end. I'm, this is the only time I'll ever feel bad for Cowboys fans. You all deserve that. We had it coming. Tony Romo had his healthiest season yet, and it included a broken back, which is not exactly a great sign. I think this could be a fun one. This could be like a 38 35 game. Everyone wants to focus on the Cowboys running back situation. How come nobody's talking about the Giants running back situation? Because they didn't have an all pro last year, they lost. Okay, so they can suck and people are just cool with it. Yeah. So, yeah, we're taking the Giants and the points. Cowboys can win out, right? Sure, why not? Monday Night Football, the game I'm most excited about all week that does not involve my team is gonna be the Eagles at Falcons. Caw -caw! I love bird games. This is gonna be two very fun offenses. Dan Quinn making his coaching debut for the Falcons, a defensive-minded guy, doesn't quite have all the pieces to contain the Eagles offense though. Yeah, I think the cornerback swap they did with the Seahawks, bringing in Byron Maxwell, losing Kerry Williams is gonna pay huge wonders for them. That's gonna be a fun matchup, old uh, Julio Jones. He's Cuban. I'm an expert, don't look it up. Kyle Shanahan, who is a great offensive mind. Robert Griffin III, when he had his magical offensive rookie of the year, that was all Shanahan's doing until- He broke he, him. He broke, he broke him. He broke his fun toy. You can't give Shanahan good <laughs> things. Sam Bradford, I think he's gonna be really good. I think Chip Kelly, he is Mr. Sports Science. Nobody talks enough about the fact that Chip Kelly made Mark Sanchez look Pretty good at times. Mark Sanchez made Mark Sanchez look pretty good. Bradford's gonna take the ball second quarter, hand off, he and DeMarco Murray's knees are gonna hit, and both ACLs are just gonna <laughs> explode. Eagles favored by two and a half on the road in the aviary. I'll take the Eagles by a field goal, sure. I think the Falcons are gonna win this game. Woo! Yeah. All right, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna rule that out. Started off hot under Dan Quinn. Those are my picks and some of their picks for the best games of week one, according to me. Thanks to Odd Shark for providing our lines. And folks, uh, don't gamble. It's, it's bad. You lose money, and uh, most of my picks are wrong. So don't follow my advice. Uh, flip the coin. It's much more effective. They're all going to be ties. All ties. Put the house on it. <laughs>